Yo, 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 what is up, Coach? This one one comes back at you with a brand new spanky, janky video. Today, I'm actually going to add in right here after I do my intro thing. I'm going to add in. I tried a new, well, not really a new energy drink, but I've never had it before. So, let's go ahead and check that out. Yo, 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 what is up? Flare just one one coming back at you with a brand new spanking dang video. Today is a different video. I actually have two things. First, we're going to do a little taste test of this real, 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 real quick. And then I have a trick that I guys want to talk to you guys about. So first, let's go ahead and get into this. This is a Pipeline Punch Juice Monster Energy Juice. Um, I don't think I've ever had it. I'm pretty sure I usually stick to the normal uh, green and black can monster. And I've even had the red, white, and blue. Um, ones because I used to collect monster cans and then I had like literally this whole mountain full of cans but let's go ahead and get into that let's go ahead and get into it oh wow it is really sweet energy juice pipeline punch I mean monster juice this uh, energy drink plus juice I guess so it'll be a minute before I do the trick, but uh, let's uh, enjoy this real quick. A little bit too sweet, maybe not, I don't know. I'll be back. Alright guys, so I could, didn't really explain because I made another video explaining what I was trying to talk to you guys about, but I wanted to just go ahead and come out here and talk to you guys about it, which I did do notes on it. Haha, ha, I have notes on it this time. And oh my god, that's a blank piece of paper. Jesus. Where's my notes at? Oh my goodness. Did I not put it in my pocket? Okay, there it is. It's the one that's folded up the most. Jesus. Ugh. Anyways, this is... It's not really an A can, like any card at any number. It's any number at any card. Which is A-N-A-A-C versus uh, A-C-A-A-N. Which is weird, I don't know. But, um, I don't have a deck in that setup, but I'll tell you guys the setup. But it's just confusing me, because I have this notebook of, like, all kinds of different self-working tricks and mathematical tricks. And on one of the pages, it has this, and I'm just like, well, how does this trick even work? I don't know if I just, I don't know if the video was bad or what. I don't remember who I got this from. I should have wrote that down, because all night last night I was looking up. Um, any card at any number and any number at any card trick. So I'm just like, and then there's a burglass, 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 burglass effect um, where the deck is literally in view the whole time. You take it out, think of a number, think of a card, and bam, that card is at that number. I'm just like, how the fuck did that happen? But we'll get to that here in a second. But the one I have. Is, is apparently you ask the spectator to pick a number between 10 and 49. The first number will determine the value, one being spade, two being hearts, three is clubs, four is diamonds. And then to get the value of the card, you add the two digits together, like let's just say I say 14. That would be the five of spades. And I'm just like... So I guess just by knowing... I guess that's how it works, just by knowing what their card is, be five of spades, you, you already know what number it's at. I guess that's how this trick is supposed to work. That's probably how this trick is supposed to work. But the setup is weird. It's like nine random cards, and then ace of spades, two of spades, two of hearts to jack of hearts, three of clubs, queen of clubs, four of diamonds to king of diamonds, and then the other three random cards. That's probably, I guess that's how that would be done. I don't, I don't, I don't. And then why is it only ace to ten, two to jack, three to queen, and four to king? I don't know. Because if you just had it in, like, brand new deck order, you would be able to know, you know, what... I, I just... I'm confused on how this trick is supposed to work. Because you're supposed to pick a number between ten and forty-nine. And then you have the setup, and that's all my notes say. Is just have a spectator pick a number between ten and forty-nine. Here's what their card is. And then here's the setup, and I'm just like, What? But anyways, when I was looking up all those uh, A cans, any card, any number, any number, any card, and I came across the burglar's effect, um, there was a couple of videos that revealed how most of these tricks are done is either a stack, which, see that's the thing, when you do a stack, you kind of have to memorize the stack, that's why I don't like using stacks, especially stacks that you have to memorize, 
Like, I'm pretty sure, like, not really side steppings, but there is a couple tricks on side steppings where they just holler out a card. And you're like, oh, it's in position number 25. Oh, it's at position number 16, you know? Because you have that memorized. Um, but, and then there was another one, which he's, this, he had like five separate videos, each one being like a half hour long. I watched his part five. And in that one, I can't remember who it was, but, I mean, obviously, it's out there on YouTube anyways, so I don't feel bad for talking about it, I should, but anyways. But how he does that trick and how he did that for me, because he showed the trick, like, once or twice. And apparently how he does it is he has a dupe card in every third-ish position and then every fifth-ish position. So he has two predictions already. So, like, he has a prediction on spot 3, 8, 13, shit like that. Or just the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, like that. And, because I honestly, because once he said that's how you do it, and I went back on the video, and I saw him put down, like, because he was using the 5 of diamonds. So, he was like, okay, the 18th card is the 5 of diamonds, and as he was throwing them down, I already saw a five of diamonds. I only saw one, there should have been like two or three, but I saw one five of diamonds and then when he got to 18, there was the other five of diamonds that I'm like, I don't know, I just don't get how that works. That is probably the best trick out there. Um, one of the best tricks out there is the any card at any number or even the any number at any card. It's just, cause I really like the ones which I guess that's how that would work if there was a stack or even dupes. Because there was one video where he was flipping the cards over as he was counting them through. And then there was this other video where he literally just spreaded the cards on the table and had her pick a number and then he counted out and be like, okay, here's your card. What was your card? And then that was it. And I'm like, now that would probably be a stack or even dupes. Um, but yeah, I, my main question is just, how would that trick work, I guess, once you ask them? See, that's the thing, I'm just like, do you ask them to pick a number between 10 and 49 and then tell them? Be like, okay, the first digit is the, uh, the suit of the card, and then add the two numbers to get the card, and that's your card. Don't let me know what it is. I'm just like, I already know what it is. Like I said, like, if my number was 14... That would be the five of spades. So would the five of spades be at number 14? No. So I'm just like, why pick a number? I guess pick a number between 10 and 49 to get your card. And then I'm supposed to say, oh, it's going to be in position 25. Or whatever it is. I just don't get why it's ace to 10, two to jack, three to queen, four to king. Instead of just, oh, just regular brand new deck order. I don't know, there's a lot of questions about this. There's a lot, a lot of stuff I wouldn't really want to talk about, especially just the A can and A knack, I guess. Any number, any card, any card, any number. But yeah, I think that's it. I didn't really want to make this too long. It's already seven minutes, but like I said, there's a lot to talk about this, just on the any card, any number, any number, any card. Um, see, that's the thing. I Every now and then... I have, you know, I get a good half hour, maybe an hour of time at the house when M Misty's sleeping or something to, you know, look up stuff like this, but it's just, like I said before, once I pull a deck out and start shuffling it or messing with it, she wakes up, so I don't really know what else to do, but, um, oh, I know I've been bad on making videos, there's just a lot of shit going on right now a lot of fucking shit. I just had my car fixed because the radiator was busted. Oh yeah, I didn't even tell you guys about that. Um, but yeah, there is going to be another giveaway coming soon. And I said this in a video I deleted, but this bag, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I still got back there. So all I'm going to do is anytime I have a giveaway and anytime you enter any of my giveaways, I'm going to just throw you in here. So, the people that have already entered my past two giveaways, you're already entered into the next few giveaways. But, obviously, please do the courtesy of liking my videos and commenting on my videos just to help me out. Because the more active people I can get on my channel, the more it can grow. Because, honestly, how YouTube works is the 
most things that get uh, searched, I guess, in the search bar. That's, it, I, I don't know how to explain it. You guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, I didn't want to make this too long. A lot of stuff to talk about. Giveaway coming very soon. Hopefully next month sometime. I know it's June. It's the middle of June. It's just, there's a lot of shit I got to do in the next couple of months. So, it's just really hard and frustrating to be an adult in 25. I don't know. I hate saying that. But, anyways, yeah, I didn't want to make this too long. I'm already making it twice as long as it was. Anyways. That's it. More giveaways to come. Check out my Patreon to help me do giveaways and more videos and stuff like this. Um, so yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share. Hopefully I see you in my next video. Much love. God bless. Really appreciate all the love and support I've been getting. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Anyways, I'm hoping to hit at least 300 before my next giveaway, but it's probably not going to happen. But if you guys could help me out find any one of my videos that's worth sharing that's why i don't like telling you guys to share because i know my videos are shit anyways i just want more people to talk to and yeah that's it like comment subscribe share hopefully i see you in my next video hit the bell so you know notified every time i upload a video see you next time much love god bless